Here with another On the Bench presented by The Bench Market. Pleased to be joined by my guest this week, V's forward Drew Elzer. Drew was a good week for the V's uh, last week. Obviously a bit unfortunate on Friday to come away with a 3-2 loss to Coquitlam. Battle of the top two teams in the league, but it was a really good hockey game. And then he bounced back Saturday, pick up the win with a late goal in the third period, and then scoring in overtime against Alberni Valley. What did you see overall from the two games? I think we played really well both games, actually. Um, obviously, didn't get the result we wanted to on Friday night, but we played a hard-fought game, and, you know, you can't win them all, unfortunately. Um, but this shows what kind of team we are coming back on Saturday night and getting that late goal and then coming back in, in overtime and winning that game. You know, and it seems like this team's been on the, quite the roll after the Christmas break. You were added to this team uh, right after that holiday break. What has it been about the last kind of month and a half for this team? Because it seems like... It's really just been rolling, and every night just seems to be a lot of good play and everybody stepping up in their roles. Yeah, I think the boys kind of just, we've been sticking to our plan and playing the way we know how to play, and not a lot of teams are going to beat us when we're playing at our best. So, You know, I wanted to ask you about your return to uh, the the V's obviously this year and you're a guy that started with the team last year unfortunate injury kept you out <clears throat> of the lineup last year but now in the lineup this year back again after almost missing a year of hockey it must feel pretty good for you to get back in on a day-to-day -day basis get out on the ice playing some games and kind of back to what you've been growing up doing yeah it's definitely it's been really nice coming back and getting into the routine of playing again um, you know it's been a lot of fun and the boys have been welcoming so it's been been good so far Drew, you're a Hopewell Junction kid. Uh, obviously, you know, just starting your minor hockey career in New York and then coming here to Penticton last year uh, to play with the V's to start the year and then with the V's now. But take us through a little bit of what your what your experience growing up in New York was like and kind of what minor hockey was like for you. Uh, it was a lot of fun growing up. Uh, all my brothers were playing, so it was a pretty hectic household. Um, did a lot of traveling. Uh, went up to Boston a ton, out to Chicago a good bit, and... And I moved away when I was 14, so I, I wasn't at home, you know, too much growing up. Um, moved to Connecticut and then out to Illinois and then out here finally, so. So a lot of different spots for you to play hockey, and obviously you mentioned kind of moving away at an early age. So where was one of your kind of favorite spots to play? Obviously, you know, coming here to Penticton, I'm sure that ranks at the top or at least around the top. But uh, when you're growing up in your, in your youth and have an opportunity to kind of get around to see a bunch of different places, what was one of your favorite spots? Uh, yeah, obviously, like you said, Penn has been the most fun, the best experience for sure. But growing up, uh, going to Boston, I always loved that. Uh, playing tournaments there and going out to the North End for dinner and everything, great restaurants. And so that was a lot of fun for me growing up. You know, I wanted to ask you about what you kind of do in the off season and what you do away from the rink, because I know you mentioned you're a big hunting guy and uh, kind of a smaller town in New York is a kind of like a suburban kind of area where you can get away and kind of escape some of what the hustle and bustle of people think that New York is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, where I live, it's all, all farmlands and everything. So uh, a good bit of hunting there, like you mentioned, uh, good fishing. So that's a lot of fun. Get a small town feel. You're a big tattoo guy as well. Yeah, yeah, I like tattoos. I got a good bit of them. So is there one of your favorites? Do you have like a one that you really like that you got? Uh, the one I just got on my chest is probably my favorite right now, but I, I go back and forth all the time. And I think the newest one I get is always my favorite for a little bit, and then you know, I, I look back at them, I'm like, oh, now I like this one a bit more. With playoffs coming up, obviously it's a big time for this team. Uh, you weren't here last year to experience, the, obviously, the playoffs with this group, but is there a lot of excitement in that room coming up? It's just a week away coming up next week. I'm sure everybody's getting a little antsy to get to playoff time. Yeah, definitely. The boys are really excited and uh, matching up against West K right down the road. It's going to be a ton of fun playing against them. We know how they play, so it will be definitely be a good series. We're all excited for it. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions to finish it off. Uh, you know, you got a new group, a new group of teammates this year, obviously from last year's team. You have some carryovers from last year, but is there anybody that when you came into the room, you kind of just instantly got along with right away? If it was any guys from last year that you were friends with moving into this year, or even some of the newcomers this year that you just clicked with right away? Yeah, obviously Hutchie uh, grew up playing against him and playing with him at South Kent and everything. So him and I have been good buddies for a while. And then uh, moving in with Dave, got pretty close with him this year. So that's been nice too. Lastly, now for you, uh, you mentioned that you're a hunter, and I don't know if any of the other V's are, but if you had to take someone out to hunt with you during the off season, who would be your selection? Uh, definitely not Hutch. Seeing that guy shoot a gun, and it's just terrifying. So uh, probably ducks. I think ducks would be the guy. Seems like he knows what he's doing. 
Well, appreciate your time, and it was good to get to know you a little bit more. Thanks for this, Drew. Yeah, thanks for having me. Join me next week for the final episode of On the Bench, presented by The Bench Market for the 2019-2020 season, where my guest is V's forward, Lucas Sillinger.